Ho, 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 folks. It's Cheer Boy, and I'm here doing the cookies and milk challenge. This is my sixth house of the night. I don't know how the big guy does it because I am super stuck, but I'm not gonna chicken out because what am I, the Easter Bunny? No, bro, give me a break. Okay, this is the cookies and milk challenge. Here we go. Three, two, jingle bell rock. Mm, 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 mm. It's that time of year again, and the Bedrock Christmas Channel is bringing you every movie that Hallmark didn't want to air. Classic films like Santa Needs to Lie Down, Mrs. Claus Gets Her Groove Back, and Christmas Vasectomy. We've even got romantic movies from Mom like New Year, New Dad, Naughty or Bryce, Christmas Eve with your landlord Steve, Ooh, this gingerbread man has abs, and Lesbians in a Blizzard. Every single one of them stars DJ Tanner from Full House. And for the kids, animated classics like Toy Story but with a nativity set. Oops, I spilled eggnog in the hamster cage again three. Shart's Flugel the Chimney Cat. And that snowman from Frozen gets deported. And for the teens in your life, the Bedrock Christmas Channel is serving up huge laughs with Holidays and Confused. Borat and Seth Rogen smoke a joint and eat candy canes. Eight maids we'd like to milk. And Ashton Kutcher's Nutcracked. And because we heard documentaries were popular this year, check out Behind the Log, a six-part docu-series on the making of 4K Yule Log Fireplace with crackling fire sounds. And is Scrooge an anti-Semitic portrayal or are we reading into it too much? The Bedrock Christmas Channel. Come for the movies. Stay. I woke up thinking about going home with you next week and got very excited about Christmas! I can't wait to meet your parents, babe. JC, you and Patrick have the perfect relationship. I know. I'm going to propose to him while we're at his parents' place. Okay, ready, on your marks! We should talk about something first. What? My parents don't know I'm gay, and they're super Christian. Okay. I'm literally Jesus Christ. I know, but they're super Christian. Yeah! Won't they be psyched we're together? No! They're Christian! What are you talking about? We're gonna need some wine. I know a guy! Just because Patrick won't tell his parents he's gay doesn't mean he doesn't love you. That's not helpful. Right, but this is just like that one time that your ex wouldn't let you tell his parents that you were raised Jewish. Yeah, this is also bad and humiliating, I agree. <laughs> so, what do your parents do, JC? My dad's really not in the picture, and my mom's a virgin. <laughs> Patrick says it's your birthday. Yeah, I asked my Facebook friends to donate to a GoFundMe to benefit marginalized groups of- COMMUNIST! Patrick, did you bring a communist into my home? Daddy, can we go outside caroling? Grant, kid! I'm watching Christmas movies. Ugh, the only thing on is Bad Santa. Where are all the good Christmas movies? Hello, Ronald! Who the hell are you? I'm your guardian angel. I'm going to show you how lucky you truly are. This is your life. If the movie Bad Santa had never been produced. What's different? There's no Bad Santa. Is Billy Bob Thornton okay? Oh yes, Goliath got renewed for a fourth and, for a fourth and final season. Yeah, I know, nothing is different. 
Oh yeah? Well, what if I told you that there's no badder Santa, the unrated widescreen edition with over seven minutes of unseen additional footage? And what if I told you there's no bad Santa too? I'm just not really sure why I need this perspective. Daddy, can we go out find Carolyn? Scram, kid! I'm watching Christmas movies. Wow, is that how I really sound? Yes, you're a bad father. That's not really my area, though. There's another guardian angel that can help you with that. I specialize more in the bad Santa arena. Well, you'll have to excuse me. There are a ton more visits to get through. You wouldn't believe how many people don't appreciate bad Santa. Oh, my God. What a weird dream. Oh, look. Bad Santa's starting over. Mary was done looking for love. It's a terrible time to date. You always say that. Because it is. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Ted was done following oh! the rules. Excuse you, Mr. Six Feet. And where's your mask? Oh, uh, must have fell. Can you help me find a new one? Uh, um, okay. Bye, girl. In the vein of those romantic movies between Jews and Nazis and slaves and their masters comes a new type of love story. Bro, you're wearing a mask? And for your chick? What about your manhood, bro? Right. I can't keep living this lie. I can't keep breathing my own breath. One of the few rom-coms without an airport scene, for obvious reasons. So you've been lying to me this whole time. I may be anti-mask, but you're anti-love. Take it off! No. I have to think of my grandmama. Think about love, Mary. In love, one cannot wear a mask or condoms. Mary had a choice, a pretty easy choice. Mary, you said that geriatrics and people who go to public school don't deserve to live anyway. How are you even considering this? Uh, be horny? The love story no one asked for. Go down on me. And risk 1% chance of throat cancer? I think not. The masker and the anti-masker, super spreading this COVID crazy winter. It's a hoax. It's that time of year with the laughs and cheer when the coke goes steaming and the lights are a beaming. <gasps> Santa's on his way in an open sleigh. He's coming in the night with his reindeer and fly. Yeah, he's coming to town. He's not messing around. Remember this before he touches down. You gotta Santa proof your home before Santa infests your home. He's creeping in like the road and that he is to contaminate your home. Santa's coming with ease and he's carrying disease as he poops around your house with the cookie in his mouth. So stuff your chimney full with a thick steel wool And don't feel guilt putting poison in his milk But if you want to be humane so he doesn't feel pain Put a bag over his head and then tie him up in chains And then drive him far away So he doesn't come back your way Release him in the woods and then pray he's gone for good And then enjoy your Christmas Day. <laughs> so now your home is Santa free and you're ready to return to your cozy PJs and warm fire for a night of beautiful bliss. But unfortunately, <laughs> you're not in the clear yet. Santa releases pheromones when he is distressed. I know. He sends a signal to his elves who come at his behest. I know. The elves will pour into your house and hide behind your lamps. They'll rummage around inside your drawers and eat all of your stamps. I almost forgot about the reindeer. Um, you could just shoot them. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Dearest Topher, I cannot tell you how much pride fills my heart when I think of you serving our country. 
War is a complicated, scary beast, but I love you for your sacrifice and courage. I hope this letter will find you safe, warm, and healthy. Your sweetheart back home, Mary. Dearest Mary, it has made my day to receive your letter. It's been colder than I expected, but it's all worth it. Fighting for freedom is tough yet fulfilling. The war on Christmas has been fought for many a year now, and I worry the embers of our fight are dying out. I am ashamed to say, even with you, I feel the urge to sign this letter, Happy Holidays. Your love, Private Topher Michaels. Dear Topher, your last letter wounded my heart. Worry has been my bedmate these past few nights, but you must fight on. The war on Christmas is very real and very important. I have had to remove some dear friends from my life because they say things like, What? What the fuck are you talking about? There's no war on Christmas, you loony freak. Shameful. How are your brothers on the front lines? Dear Mary, we have been stationed at a Starbucks in Brooklyn. A couple of blocks from you, actually, for a fortnight now. We are running low on eggnog and our hot chocolate has run cold. I worry we may have to resort to eating non-denominational cookies. Corporal Tim Allen has started drafting a new Santa Claus to a treaty, but it does not look promising. These have all been false victories, unfortunately. Like Chance the Rapper saying Jesus on SNL last year and acting like it was a big deal. Nobody cared. Dear Topher, I've just seen the news that Admiral Chris Pratt has been canceled for his political views. I am sorry to hear this and worry what this will do to General Tucker Carlson. Mary Michaels? Yes? He died? No. Just the sweater you ordered from the Salvation Army. Oh, okay, phew. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Hey everyone, Scooter here with a quick tutorial of how to hang up your mistletoe so this holiday season. You're going to want to make sure that there's an adhesive on the back to make sure that you can get right up there and just stick it right on. And just like that, you're going to want to stand directly beneath it and await that kiss that is coming your way. It seems to be up here pretty good, so there should be a kiss happening. I think I figured out the problem was my uh, front door was closed, so the kisser couldn't get in. So now that it's open, they uh, they can come in. I just put up a Facebook post to get the word out. Mistletoe customer service. Mistletoe customer service. Okay, so I just repositioned it a little more center and also read a bustle article of how to be more approachable. Hi, I purchased one of your mistletoes and it doesn't seem to be working because I have been standing under it and no one has kissed me yet. Yes, I have taken it down and put it back up again. Okay, so I just let a trail of cookie crumbs to the mistletoe, so hopefully that now gets the ball rolling. We'll be keeping a close eye on that. But for now, a bit of Christmas cheer from News 12, New Jersey. Move over, Rockefeller the Tiny Owl. When the Newark Christmas tree arrived last night, it wasn't the only thing making a grand entrance. Packed tight inside that heavy 60-foot bundle of branches, Newark's very own Christmas stowaway. For more on this heartwarming story, we go to Amanda Plancher in the field. Thanks, Kurt. I'm here at the Newark Avenue Pedestrian Mall where this little guy was just found clinging to the tree. Hello, I'm Victor. We are calling him Newark Newt. He'll be on display here in downtown Newark from now until Christmas. Well, uh, actually I was gonna head back to Ontario. <laughs> wow, what a little cutie. 
Well, I guess I must have dozed off in the tree, eh? They sent me up to check in the branches and uh, here we are. Isn't he just so cute? Unfortunately, it looks like Newt suffered some oh, head trauma on that two-day journey. Oh, jeez. Would you look at that, eh? Maybe I should go to a hospital. People across the tri-state area are absolutely smitten with his Canadian sensibilities. Some folks have even made a line of Newark Newt bobbleheads. Ah, oh, that is just so cute. I'm sure everyone's chopping at the bit to meet him. <laughs> After the holiday season, what's next for little Newt? I'd really like to go home and see my kids. I'm a single father and, uh... You're not going anywhere. We've all got a new life figured out for him right here in New Jersey. Sorry to say, but that's kidnapping, eh? The city of Newark will be releasing him into a wild bird sanctuary in January. Can someone please feed my children? And now, a word from our sponsor. Life is about choices. We make choices every day. And those choices make us who we are. As a busy mom, I've got to make enough decisions. But BNT162? That's an easy choice. The BNT162 vaccine. One of the most effective vaccines on the market. My husband's at high risk. But after waiting in line for 18 hours for an antidote for this horrifying and traumatizing disease, I just asked my doctor for BNT162. And he delivered! When begging your doctor for a vaccine, make sure you ask about BNT162. Chemically identical to other approved COVID-19 vaccines, BNT162 is a name you can trust. I killed a few people I love by spreading this disease unintentionally. I shouted from the rooftops, give us a cure, God, to end this hellscape we're living in. But a friend told me, we have a choice when it comes to choosing a vaccine. As a business owner and widower, I know the importance of making the right choice. As a busier mom, having a choice is essential. It turns out there's a limited amount of vaccines in my area. So I waked on my bus driver and I said, bus driver, please take my child. Please take my child and save their life. But when you give them the vaccine, make sure it's BNT162. Make the choice. Choose BNT162 from Totino's. Totino's, a tastier way to not die. You heard the news! New York City is dead! That's why me, as the mayor, are here to tell you all about Jersey City! Jersey City, located in northeastern New Jersey off I-78. That's right! No one likes New York City anymore, so come to Jersey City! We have it all! Gambling, marijuana, less coronavirus, sometimes, cousins, you not want it? We got it! I am the real mayor of Jersey City, Mayor Steve! I, I you, in Jersey City, we have it all! Crime, the opening scenes from The Sopranos, a few high-rises, The, the Sopranos, uh, many scenes, we're shot in Jersey City. Forget the Big Apple, New Jersey City, we're the big, the, uh, fuck, the uh, tomato, the Garden State. J New Jersey, baby. You know what makes me sick? You know what makes me sick? Okay? All the New York teams are in New Jersey. The Giants, they play in New Jersey. The Jets, Play in New Jersey. The... That's it. Jersey City. Your co-worker lives here. And they say it's not that bad. Jersey City. Located in between Manhattan and underneath Secaucus. Hey sis, happy holidays. Though I am unhappy to know you're still single. Sapna, you're almost 30. When are you going to settle down? I know. I'm just 13 short years away from turning the big 3-0. That's a baker's dozen, Sapna. Well, that's why I took a page out of your book, went outside, and made a lifelong commitment to the first being I saw. No way! Tell me about them. Okay, so it is a swamp witch, and it is slowly siphoning off my life force. Sounds perfect. 
Well, they're not as perfect as you and Donald. Yeah, just like me and Donald. Someone say Donald. Yeah, huh? It's always about you. Donald, Donald, Donald. You know, I remember when I cuffed this one in winter of 2019. He was trying to pretend like he hadn't been bit by a zombie, but he had, like, clearly been bit by a zombie. Anyways, now he just lies about the chores that he doesn't do, so. Well, my little crystal ball and chain is constantly dripping swamp water everywhere. But it's us clean up. Hashtag couple goals. Okay. But how's the SEX? Well, it's bad, but it doesn't last long. Nice. Yeah, being in any couple is better than a relaxing, non-toxic time by myself. I guess you, our parents, and society at large were right. Yeah, you know what? Liking your own company is tragic. Mm. Sis, you were 338 fortnights away from being single and 30. It's just crazy, though, that we ended up with such opposite partners. Like, I love art, and the Swamp Witch loves casting dark, debilitating spells by channeling the will of the Serpent Prince. Yeah, like, I'm alive and Donald's dead. Ooh, speaking of death, you should totally get started on having kids right away. I would, but um, but Donald's penis is also dead. Okay. <laughs> oh, so then I'll really never be alone. Don't be selfish. Mom and Dad would have wanted you split from V-hole to B-hole. Yeah, just to hear the sounds of screaming grandchildren kill your hopes and dreams. Well, uh, I at least found a loophole for that. No pun intended. Just gave birth. Oh my god, congratulations! Oh, I gotta go. I'm gonna be busy for the next 8,032 serpent cycles, or one human eternity. Yay, I was worried you were gonna actually be happy. Bye, sis! Bye! Oh, Mickey, I know I was a little short this one, but please, I'll get you the money. Hoagie, <laughs> shut your face. <laughs> it's not why you're here. Can you explain this to me? Oh, Rodrigo says Big Mike is sleeping with the fishes. He thinks you're moving in on his territory. No. The cartoon. The Far Side cartoon. Far Side? Like Gary Larson with the animals and shit? Yeah. Yes. And Far Side ain't like the New Yorker. Yeah, they're usually pretty straightforward. Yeah, pretty straightforward, right? I, I just can't figure this one out. It's burning a hole through my brain. I can't figure it out. You want me to take a look at it, boss? Yeah. Would you? Okay, let's let's take a look. All right. Well, well, we got a cow standing on two legs uh, behind a table. There's a barn in the background, and on the table there's these weird primitive tools. And then the caption says, "Cow tools." But what does it mean? I think you're overthinking it, boss. Like a cow can't make tools because it's like a cow. I think that's all it means. Right, but like, right. But like I see that, like that tool looks like a saw. And are we supposed to be able to identify the other tools? Cause, cause they don't look like nothing to me. They don't look like nothing to me. And does it use the tools to build the barn? Cause the barn looks nice. And that's his home, clearly. And it's the duo would let them believe that he lives in the bar. Yeah, I right? guess. I guess, boss. <laughs> You're getting really overworked about this. It's just a cartoon. I'm not stupid. No. I didn't get to where I am because I'm stupid. No, boss. No one ever said that. I'll show you stupid. No. I'll show you no. stupid. No. 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 Get rid of it. Happy holidays, boss!
What's up everyone, my name is Ken, and I'm gonna be doing the Santa's Cookies and Milk Challenge. That's right, I'm eating an entire case, entire packs of opening up first on Chewy Chips Ahoy. An entire pack right there, just like Santa would do in one night when he visits all the boys and girls. On your mark, get set, go. 